Hey, what's going on, buddy? Speed Jobs. So the Warzone Firefight update is finally here to Halo 5 Guardians. That means we have a lot of rec packs to open to try to unlock some of those new vehicles and weapons that was just released in this update. So this update is supposed to be the biggest one yet. So I'm really excited, you guys. Hopefully, we're going to unlock, especially the Wasp. I really want to try that thing out. It's only rare, so we have a good chance of getting it. So we're going to open some rec packs here. We have 636 thousand rec points right now and i'm starting off with a may 2016 season pack that we got a while ago i'm just gonna open some of my packs here and see if maybe we get some some of the stuff some of the new stuff out of these daily win packs and also the uh like i think we got some golds mixed in here as well before we spend any money um buying before we spend any rec points buying the actual uh, other rec packs like the gold and the silver i'm definitely gonna open some silver first so we can maybe see if we can get some of those other weapons out like the uncommon pla brute plasma rifle and also the uh you know the higher the the other uncommon vehicles and all that other stuff that we can uh, unlock in this game and the rares like the wasp with the uh, silver packs that'd be awesome. I'm hoping that we at least get maybe ten of the wasp. I don't even know if we're gonna get one, but if we get like ten, that would be sweet because then we could actually give it a good chance and uh, fly it around in a few matches. So I'm hoping that we get that, and then I really hope that we get the Halo 2 beam rifle. That'd be sweet. That'd be really really sweet if you got that. Um, right now we're not getting too. You know, many amazing stuff. We do have a lot of stuff already unlocked, which is good. I think I have like, I don't even know, like 70% of the power weapons or something like that. I'm not too sure, but we have a decent amount of them unlocked. So I'm really not expecting too much new besides the stuff that was just released in this update. But, you know, I'll take some, some weapons that we've already got because I'm trying to make some more videos with those and everything. So that's always good too. I got to make some more videos of like the vehicles. I could I could definitely use some getting, getting some more of the vehicles though unlocked in this game um especially like the hannibal scorpion and also the hannibal uh mantis i think i have one hannibal scorpion and that's it and then of course the phaeton i only have one of those the regular ones and we don't even have the phaeton helios at all so if we could get the phaeton helios that'd be a miracle you guys i'd be super 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 stoked for that uh, but even if i did get one i'd probably get destroyed anyway the second i use it but we'll see we'll see how it goes that's just wishful thinking right now and so far we have not unlocked any legendaries or any mythics like that. So we're getting a lot of we're getting a lot of uncommons and rares mixed in here in these daily wins. Got a few ultra rares. I think we got a few uh, weapons that are ultra rare already. And a tundra scorpion, I believe, was an ultra rare. So that's an ultra rare vehicle. Getting some more wreck points in that one. I'm just trying to fly through these as fast as I can so that we can just get on to opening the silvers right away and hopefully get to the good stuff. Cause oh, what do we get? What do we get? Looks like it's gonna be a boost. We got a another corpse scorpion. Um, we got an arena XP boost, so that is a legendary. I like getting those boosts, but I like getting them more so for Warzone, because then if you use them in Warzone, you can really get those rec points up super fast, especially if you get those legendary ones. So I really do. I play mostly Warzone anyway. I hardly ever play Touch Arena, um, so I really like it when I get those those Warzone boosts. Hopefully, we get some of those. Yes, there we go. You guys, we got the Wasp certification. And then we got three of them after that. So we got. So let's just read the description for this. So the AV-49 Wasp su supplements existing stocks of AV-14, AV-22 aircraft in Marine service, close air support, VTOL, armed with heavy machine guns and twin rocket launchers. So this thing looks awesome. I'm so glad we finally got them. We got a Prophet's Bane. We got an Oath Sworn. Awesome. So we got a lot of great stuff out of this uh, this one pack. We got a legendary, the new Wasp units vehicle, and also Oath Sworn. I think that's the first Oath Sworn I got. I don't have the certification for that yet. So if we do unlock the certification for that, then that'll be awesome because then we'll have one of those already. But I'm super excited we got the Wasp. And that's what exactly what I wanted to get right away. Just get that over with so we can unlock that. Hopefully we get some more of those uh, coming up here. We, I mean, we haven't even got to the Silver yet, so we'll see. We'll see if we can get some more of those coming up here. Get some work points. Nothing too good out of that one. I don't know. I don't even care if we don't get anything good now. We got the Wasp. That's all that matters. Another Whiplash. Another Light Rifle. Some Rares mixed in there. Some Commons. Nothing too... Special, more rec points. Uh, God's Warthog and another grinder. Nice grinder. I got it. Definitely got to use the grinders more. Those things are fun to use. Some more rec points. Getting up to about 640,000 rec points now. Oh, what did we get? We got the twin jewels of Mathrillion. Mathrillion. Uh, that's a binary rifle. That's a legendary. I don't think I have the certification for that. I really don't. So I think that's the first one I've got out of that. Here we have a random gold pack. So let's see what we get out of this one. Hope we get some good stuff. Oh yes, we got the Temple Raid certification. <laughs> nice, awesome. Then we got the Oni or Oni Mat certification as well. In that, in that one, so we got another rare vehicle unlocked and another legendary vehicle unlocked. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. Let's read the. Um, let's actually read the Temple Wraith. See what this thing does. So Masterwork Wraith with hardened armor, improving hand, 
improving handling and faster rate of fire for the plasma mortar. Okay, so this thing actually shoots a little bit faster than like the basic rates. So that's awesome. It looks cool, pretty cool too with the gold on it. So I'm really glad we unlocked that. Let's see what the Oni Mantis does. Advanced Mantis with heavy armor and upgraded weapons. So definitely want to give that thing a go too. But I'm really excited that we got the uh, the temple the temple wraith because I had no idea what the temple vehicles did at all. So it looks like it has a bit of a bit more armor and some uh, faster rate of fire for the plasma mortar. So that should be really fun to use. Hopefully we can unlock some more of those, and hopefully we can unlock also the temple banshee. That'd be sweet. Oh, we got some more. We got another ultra or another legendary. I mean, uh, let's see what we got. Looks like a weapon. We got the Chris left hand. I'm not sure if I got the certif certification for that either. Um, that's just a legendary sniper rifle. I really don't know if we got the certification. I don't think I do. So we have to unlock that yet, if, uh, especially if we don't have it. But I'm glad that we got one of those. I'm hoping we get some more of those. You guys are getting some good stuff, though. We're getting, getting some of the certification out of the way that was just released in the uh, Warzone Firefoot update. So I'm really excited about that. I want to get those, uh, try, give those vehicles a try that we already unlocked. Another endgame, the awesome thing. That's awesome. The endgame is a pretty, pretty solid Spartan laser. Another legendary. It is just a gauze turret, though. That's right. <clears throat> that thing will be fun to uh, just try to use. We got some more wreck points in here. All right, we'll skip that one. Keep on going. More wreck points and another. Oh, Retina of the Mind's Eye binary. So that's an ultra. I think that I do have the certification for that one. So I think we got a few of those now. Um, I think it maybe like five in total. I really don't know. But we we got we got another one. Another Razor's Edge. Just showed a video for that. The thing is fun to use. Another Banshee, I think, in there as well. Uh, emblem, Plasma Turret. I'm not seeing, like, we didn't, we haven't really got any much armor in this, uh, these rec pack openings yet. So, you know, it's okay with me. I'm not a huge fan of the armor. I just really don't care too much for it. I'm all about the weapons, pretty much. Um, so, you know, it's whatever. If I can get the weapons, then I'm happy. Um, let's see what we get out of this one. Another G Goss Warthogs, Corpse Scorpion, Ad Victorium. No legendaries, unfortunately. Another sword banshee. All right, another rocket warthog. So it looks like we're about done with these uh, these daily wind packs and stuff. An arc light, railgun, another low something, uh, scatter shot. Let's see what we get out of this one here. What do we get? Oh, we got the blaze of glory. Two of them. Nice. That thing is fun to use. Let's see what we get out of the firefight update wreck pack. We got another wasp. Yes. Oh, we got the temple ghost, temple banshee, and temple wraith. So we got all those vehicles, but we don't have the certification for the Banshee or the Ghost yet. Let's just see what the Banshee says. Um, so the Banshee, Masterwork Banshee with hardened armor, improved handling, and upgraded fuel ride cannon with reduced fire delay and ability to fire while boosting. So you can actually fire the thing while boosting. That's awesome. Um, the Temple Ghost is a rare treasure worth its weight. Ma Masterwork Ghost with hardened armor, improved handling, and plasma cannons that can shoot while boosting. So it looks like you can shoot all these um, except for this one while you're boosting. So that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool feature. Um, you know, we're going to be boosting up in the air with the Banshee and then being able to shoot at the same time. That's pretty sweet. Well, we got the Sorrow of T certification for the plasma, Brute Plasma Rifle. Nice. That thing looks awesome. I like the way it looks with the uh, camo on it. Um, let's see what this thing does. Improve Brute Plasma Rifle with better accuracy and upgraded heat dissipation. All right. So looks like uh, the, the it's not going to overheat as fast as the regular one, which is good because uh, the basic one definitely overheats uh, a little fast. So it's hard to get those kills with it. Woodland Mantis, Loathsome Thing, uh, Sword Needler Warthog, Barbed Lance, Light Rifle, and a Sword of the Faithful um, uh, da, 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 Covenant Sniper. All right, so we got some really good stuff out of those daily wind packs. We haven't even moved on to the uh, the Silvers yet. So I'm really excited about this, you guys. Here we go. Let's go move on to the Silvers, start spending some money, some rec points uh, for these, and try to unlock some more vehicles. We got to unlock the certification for the Banshee, the Temple Banshee, and also the... Uh, the, the ghost too, so we got to do that. Got another Sorrow of Tish, nice, and we got to unlock also the other, um, other brute plasma rifle. I forget what that one thing is, what that thing is called, but I think it's the um, ultra rare version of it, and it should be even better than the Sorrow of Tish. So uh, definitely want to unlock that thing. We still have yet to unlock the Halo Two beam rifles as well. So it'd be awesome to get our hands on those. There we go. Look at that. You guys just had to speak it, and we got it. Halo Two beam rifle certification. We got three of them, so let's see what this thing does. Long range semi automatic energy rifle with variable zoom optics. Use Smart Link to line up headshots for one shot kills. So it looks like it's going to be just pretty much the basic Halo 2, Halo 2 beam rifle, the rare version, anyway. Um, so that's going to be awesome. That's going to be really, really fun. 
to use. I'm really glad that we unlocked it finally. Um, I just, you know, I was hoping we were going to not unlock one of those. So I'm really glad that we unlocked the basic ones. So that means we can probably unlock the other ones as well. Yes, we unlocked the Temple Ghost certification too. Nice. So we got that one out of the way. Now we just have to get the Temple Banshee. And then we're going to go with the new vehicles that were just released in this update. So you guys are getting a lot of great stuff out of all these packs. I really can't complain at all because we're pretty much unlocking everything that I wanted. Except for the other two uh, Halo 2 beam rifles and also the other Brute Plasma rifles. So I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to try out these new weapons and new vehicles in this update. Temple of the Ghost. Another Wasp. Nice. I think that's a, what? Like five Wasps for us already? So that's good. That's really, really good. We haven't even got to the golds yet, so we might be able to get some more of those wasps mixed in there. Uh, nothing too good out of there. I think we got another Sword Needler Warthog. So we're just going to fly by and open ourselves another Silver Pack and see if maybe we can unlock some more certifications. Here we go. Nope. We didn't get anything too good out of that one. Let's just see another Arc Light and the Spartan Laser. All right, let's keep on going here and try to get some more of those certifications out of the way. Come on, Banshee. Come on, Temple Banshee certification. No, I was hoping maybe I could speak that one and uh, we would get it. Like we did the Halo 2 beam rifle. But that's alright. We've got to keep trying here. Opening these silver packs. If we're not going to get unlock any more of the certifications um, in these silver packs. And we're just going to keep getting these. I'm just going to go ahead and um, move on to the golds. Because I don't want to be, you know, just waste my money getting these getting these rares and all these commons and stuff. Looks like we might have to do that. Because we're not getting anything too good. We got another wasp though. And another temp temple wraith. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's keep on going. With one more at least and see if we can maybe get something. Oh, let's actually go one more after this because we got the rec points in order to do one more. And then after, at 600,000, we'll go ahead and move on to the golds. I would stay with the silvers if we were unlocking a lot more of the certifications, but we're not really getting too too much out of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the gold right away. I don't think it pays to uh, actually stay with the, the silvers. So let's move on to the gold, see if we get something good out of these. Come on, come on, come on. Give me the good stuff here. Give me a Phaeton. Ooh, we got a hammer time. I believe that's a stance. Everyone is a nail. Okay. Um, and then that's about it. So it looks like we've got a stance. Let's open some more of these gold packs here. Try to get some of those certifications out of the way. What did we get? Oh, we got a... Looks like a legendary assassination. A uh, new helmet. Eva Zig Zigang. Uh, Warzone RP boost. Nice. That's a legendary. That's kind of what I want. Let's get those rec packs. Rec points back up. Let's keep on going here. Try to get some of those certifications out of the way. Yes, Halo 2 Beam Rifle Alpha certification. Nice. We got the Ultra Rare. It is an improved Halo 2 Beam Rifle with faster rate of fire and increased hip fire accuracy. Awesome. So we're going to have better hip fire accuracy if we want to try to do with some like no scopes and stuff. Awesome, you guys. We got that one out of the way. That means all we have to do is get the legendary version of it. Uh, unlocked and get that certification and then we'll be good to go for the halo tomb beam rifle so awesome i'm just glad we unlocked two of them already we got the woodland rocket warthog certification nice another mark six helmet looks pretty cool tundra goss warthog another halo two two beam rifle alpha we just unlocked that certification we got another one so that works out pretty well Let's see if we can get some more of those halo two beam rifles let's do it oh we got the patrol case Armor Mod, this is the new one, also in the update that they just released. Let's see what it does. Requisition, weapons have increased ammo reserves if you equip the same weapon twice. Okay, so if you equip the same weapon twice, you have extra ammo. Hmm, that's interesting. Huh, alright. I thought it would be a little bit different. I thought maybe you'd be able to go over, like, any weapon. Um, that's like, like, say you have a DMR out and you just want to wear, like, a BR or something, you'd be able to un get some ammo, but I guess that's not the case. So we unlocked the Urban Goss Warthog certification. Um, another assassin, assassin Stance Ultra Rare. Another Woodland Mantis. Another Temple Wraith. And then from that, we got some more rares out of that one. So a lot of some new vehicle certifications as well, including some Warthogs that we have not got yet. I think we got another Rocket Warthog. Legendary. Yes, we did. The Vespin Rocket Warthog. <laughs> got another Wasp. Another Temple Ghost. Another Chorus Maker, Talon the Lost. All right. I'll take some more of those Wasps for sure. Hopefully those wasps are a little tougher than I think, because I feel like if, since we're getting a lot of them, it's probably not going to last too long. But that's okay. We got the Didax, si Didax Signet Certification, finally! This thing is a beast to use. We got three of them. After that, Advanced Scatter Shot that fires fast-moving, long-range projectiles with strong homing behavior after Ricochet. So the Didax Signet is an awesome weapon. You can just, like, Ricochet. You can just shoot at the wall if you, got, if you know a guy's around the wall. And you can take out the shield in, in a few shots off the Ricochet, and then 
finish him off with either a BR or another shot. So it's a really great weapon. It's fun how, how the Ricochet does so much damage. We unlocked the Woodland Scorpion certification out of this one. So that is good. Um, more rockets. And the answer. Some more Tundra rocket hogs. Um, let's open some more. Here we go, you guys. Try to get the legendary beam rifle. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got the scale of Sorath certification for the Brute Plasma. Nice. So this is the ultra rare version. Let's see what this thing does. So advanced Brute Plasma rifle with increased damage, but can also serve as an utterly lethal melee bludgeon. Bludgeon? Bludgeon. Never heard of that word. Um, so it looks like it's going to have some pretty good melee damage on it as well. So I wonder if it's like the... Um, like the bayonet attached to like the DMR or something when you unlock that and use that. It's just like a one hit kill if you hit him with that. So that is pretty cool. We're going to have to give that a go. We also unlocked the long shot AR which has a bayonet attached to it. So that's pretty cool. That has increased weapon, uh, incre increased melee damage I should say. We got another SAR of the Tish Brute Plasma Rifle which is the rare. Banshee Ultra into the line. Alright so we got all the Brute Plasma Rifles out of the way. We unlocked all of them. So hopefully we get a few more of those to try them out a little bit more. And then, uh, what do we get? What do we get? We got the Tundra Mantis notification. Nice. So we're getting a lot of the uh, Mantis unlocked today, which is really good. Because I definitely want to try out some of those vehicles a lot more than what I have, which is I haven't. Because I just haven't had too many of them. But now I might have a chance to actually do it. We got Focus Chill Rose, Legendary Armor, Dead Eye Ultra Rare Helmet, um, Low Something, Scatter Shot, Binary Rifle, Little Slumber, another Banshee, Sword Banshee, and Oni Gauss. Warthog. Alright, so not too bad. Not too bad on that one. Nothing new though. What do we get out of this one? Recon, ITG, armor, air assault, specialist armor, both ultra rares. You know, the Hailstorm. Hailstorm is an awesome weapon. Uh, then other than that, nothing too good. Just some more rares and also uncommons mixed in there. Nothing new though. Just some stuff we've already had except for the armor. What do we get? What do we get? We got a... Ooh, we got the the Magnum with the extra ammo. Nice. I kind of wanted that because I always hate, you know, like re getting rid of shots into a guy. And then you have one shot left. And uh, you know they're going to be taking out one shot. You don't have any shots left. And you just you just have to reload and they escape. So um, I'm really glad we finally locked that weapon. We also got another Wasp in there, which is really, really good. We're getting a few of those this time around. So we have a good chance of actually using that vehicle. We got the Oni Rocket Warthog certification. Nice. That's a legendary advanced Rocket Warthog with heavy armor, upgraded missile launcher pods. A Locust Edge legendary helmet. Looks pretty cool, I guess. Definitely looks interesting. We got another Halo 2 beam rifle. Forgot forgot to mention that. Another Goss Warthog. So nothing. We're not getting too too many uh, new weapons and stuff like out of these last few. We got a few new vehicles, which is fine. Ooh, we got the in increased strength armor mod. Your Spartan charge is extra range. I really don't use the Spartan Charge that much. It's the legendary armor mod. Um, I guess it's cool to have, but I probably will never end up using it. Maybe I'll use it just to try it out and see what it's like. But I really don't Spartan Charge too much in this game. I just hate it. I just, I'm just i just not a fan of it, especially when it, it happens to me. It's just, it's quite annoying, to be honest. All right, so we got the Oni Goss Warthog Goss Certificate. Goss Turret Certification. I couldn't find the words, so that's pretty cool. That's a legendary. I have to give that thing a go. I've actually used that thing by picking it up um, by killing somebody with it, and you can actually get some pretty good kills with it, so it's fun to use. It's just like a Goss Warthog in your hand, so it's nice. All right, we unlocked the Pool of Radiance certification. This is the ultra rare version of the Fuel Rod Cannons. Nice. Let's see what this thing does. It's advanced Fuel Rod Cannon that fires unstable projectiles, which leave a dangerous residue in their impact area. So when you shoot this thing, it actually keeps going off a little bit, and that can de do, do more damage and also kill them. Um, so it's kind of fun, kind of fun doing that. I'm pretty sure that. They did increase the damage in that uh, weapon in the, the last update, I believe it was. Um, so, yeah, at first it wasn't that good of a weapon, just really do, didn't do that much damage. So I think now it's a lot better since they updated it, um, which is good. And now we finally unlocked it, so we can actually use it and test it out. Got another wasp out of that one. So I'm not sure how many of those wasps we have. I want to say probably close to 10 at this point. Um, so that's awesome. Spirit of Fire, Assault Rifle, Weapon Camo, another Grinder. Uh, white scar other than that nothing too new out of those Come on come on come on get some more certifications legendary visor. It is a uh, I guess it's just called legendary. All right, cool uh, Tundra scorpion Vorpal talon no certifications out of that one unfortunately. I Don't know maybe we we'll have to switch back to the silver see if we can get some some certifications out of that. What do we get? What do we get? 
Temple Ghost. Purple Talon. Nothing new. Nothing new. I was, I was excited. I was hoping maybe we get some more... Uh, some new weapons. I would love to get a Phaeton, though. What did we get? We got the River of Light Certification. This is ultra rare. Sweet. So we got the... This thing does a improved incineration cannon that will unleash a long burst of energy blast if allowed to charge up by holding the firing trigger. I've actually used that. It's not a bad weapon. I'm just glad that we unlocked it. Finally got that one another way. Got another Halo 2 Beam Rival Alpha. Nice. Definitely want to use that weapon and see what it can do. You guys, we've got a lot of a lot of good stuff in this in these rec bag openings. We got the Recon DMR with the bayonet. Pretty cool. That has extra melee damage. Oh, I think we got the uh Oh, this is just a noble team. So this is a noble team. Assault rifle weapon camo. Looks pretty cool actually with that blue on there. Um, another binary, another Halo 2 beam rifle, Banshee Ultra. Alright, so we're about um, not quite halfway through our wreck points yet, but we're getting really close, getting really close from what we started. But I really can't complain because we got a lot of good stuff. Argonaut, Nestor, Ultra Rare Helmet, Tundra Rocket, Warthog, Legendary, Blaze of Glory, very cool. But nothing new, so just going to keep on going, open another gold pack. Got a Venator, Cestus, Legendary Helmet, Maverick, Ultra Rare Helmet, Mantis, Ultra Rare, and then just some more weapons and vehicles we've already unlocked. So we're going to keep on going to the next one. What do we get? We got the Heart Seeker certification. Nice. So this is the Legendary Incineration Cannon. It's an advanced incineration cannon that fires tracking energy charges. So this thing is pretty cool. You can actually lock on to it like when, there's in the, when it's in the red reticule. It actually tracks them, so it's pretty fun to use. I've used it in uh, Super Fiesta and got a few kills that way, so I'm glad that we finally unlocked it, though. I believe we have all the incineration cannons unlocked now. So we got that out of the way. We're getting a lot of the armor. Argonaut, Nestor, um, that's an armor. Chest piece, Mark VI Regent, legendary chest piece for the armor. Another Woodland Rocket Warthog, a Sword Banshee, and then some more Ultra Rare vehicles and weapons. So, getting some good stuff, you guys. Definitely getting some good stuff here. Another legendary mix in here, but it looks like it's going to be a Warthog. A Saturnine. That's an Ultra Rare Visor color. Another Pool of the Radiance. Oni Rocket Warthog. Talon of the Lost. Closed Fist. Uh, so, I guess we'll, we got some decent stuff out of that one. Some new armor and stuff. A new Visor. We got the Oni Rocket War Rocket Turret certification. Nice. Another Woodland Goss Warthog certification. All right, so we unlocked those things. The Brute Plasma Rifle, the Vespin Archidog, and the Mantis. We're getting a lot of the Warthogs unlocked out of this, so that's pretty cool. You know, just get those vehicles out of the way. We're not going to have too much to unlock after all this. What did we get? Oh, Celine's Lance Certification. That's the legendary version of the Spartan Laser. Let's see what this thing does. Advanced Spartan Laser with reduced charge time, longer beam duration, additional battery capacity, and targeting laser does damage. War games balancing adds extra recoil. All right, so this thing is pretty fun to use too. I've got a few kills of that and I was able to use it in Warzone by picking it up by killing somebody. So that's a fun weapon to use. I'm finally glad that we unlocked that. I'm pretty sure now that we got all the Spartan lasers unlocked too. So we're getting everything pretty much unlocked finally in this game, except we don't have the the, the Phaetons and some of the vehicles. We got the Ichidna certification. This is the ultra rare version of the. Hydro Launcher, let's see what this thing does. It's an advanced Hydro Launcher loaded with experimental EMP warthags capable of temporarily disabling enemy vehicles. Nice. That thing should be fun to use. I'm glad we got that one unlocked as well. I think I think that's it for the Hydro Launchers too that we got the certifications now. Because I think we have the other one. I forget what it's called at the moment. But I'm pretty sure we have it. We'll have to check out check it out after this. Got the gold standard legendary weapon camera for the assault or SMG. It looks pretty sweet. Another Temple Wraith mix in there. Some more Banshees, some more Goss, Warthogs too. Uh, but other than that, we didn't get any really new certifications or anything. We got the Power Zoom. This is this new stance with he's holding the Halo 2 Beam Rifle. That looks pretty cool. Definitely gonna have to equip that. Let's see, a payback for New Mombasa. New Mombasa, that's the city in Halo 2 campaign and all that stuff. Uh, we definitely remember that. Very nice. We got another DMR, Pool of Radiance. Another Halo 2 Beam Rifle Alpha. Sweet, you guys. Sweet. I'm glad we're getting some more of these Halo 2 Beam Rifles. Definitely want to give these weapons a go. Hopefully we get some more of the legendary ones, though. We got Recon SMG, Recon DMR, uh, Razor's Edge, Blissful Slumber, another Temple Wraith, and Arrow of Time. Out of that one, we're getting a lot of the repeats that we already have. I'm pretty sure because we've already unlocked a lot of the weapons and stuff. So, we got the Gold Standard, BR Weapon Camo, Arm, BR Camo, 
Another Vorpal Talon. Temple Wraith. Another Temple Wraith. We got two of them that time. So we definitely have a few of those Temple Wraiths now. We're gonna have to try to use those things. We got the Retina of the Eyes my, of the Mind's Eye Certification. So I thought maybe I unlocked the certification, but I was wrong. Looks like we finally did. And we got three more on top of that. What did we get here? Fire Team, Osiris, Assault Rifle, Weapon Camel. Nice. Looks pretty sweet. Pool of Radiance. Another Pool of Radiance. And a Selene's Lance once again, Spartan Laser. So that's good. That's good. We're getting some good stuff out of that. I'm glad we're unlocking the Binary, binary Rifle too. Buccaneer, Ilri, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Helmet and Buccaneer, Ilri, uh, chest piece. We unlocked for the armor. Another Endgame. Another Ichidna. And Tundra Scorpion. All right, all right. So we got got some good stuff out of that one. Let's see, what we got all these ones here. We got Twin Jewels of Mathrillian certification. So I guess we just unlocked the certification for that too. That's legendary. Um, advanced binary rifle modified with dual beam emitters that enhance the rifle's anti-armor utility. So I've actually used this weapon. I'm pretty sure, and it kind of like shoots two beams like this, going like this. So I really, I wasn't a huge fan of it when I used it. Maybe it just wasn't. Wasn't quite good at it, and I haven't had much experience with it yet, but it was hard. It was hard to use, and hard to get a kill. So, I'm not too sure if it's that good of a weapon to begin with, but I have to try it some more. We've got the Argus Legendary. Um, I think that's a Mythic then, because of those stars and stuff. Uh, helmet. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool, for sure. Um, Banshee. Nothing else too special, though. Out of those ones. So, we get out of this one here. Ooh, we got a... Yes, we got some more Hannibal Scorpion certifications. Nice. Awesome. That thing is sweet. It looks awesome. We got three of them. Let's just see what this thing does. We got another Mythic Armor set. It's called the Intruder Ultra Rare. Forgot to mention that. But the Advanced Scorpion with Heavy Armor and Fast char Discharge. Laser currently undergoing trials within UNSC Tw Infinity War Games. So it's this that vehicle is a beast. It really is. I've actually gotten killed by it a few times. And I've actually had the honor of sitting in the little mini turret with it. It shoots like those mini gauze laser things. It's pretty cool. Does a lot of damage. We got the Bracer, DMR, Weapon Camo, Scout, Observer, Ultra Rare, Helmet. Another Endgame. And then another Sword, Banshee, and the Answer mix in there. But nothing too good. We get a lot of armor. Definitely getting a lot of the armor. Mar Marauder, Curious, Cures, Legendary Armor, Pen Dragon, uh, Legendary Visor. And then some more Rocket Warthogs mixed in there. Another Beam Rifle. Not the Halo 2, but just a regular Beam Rifle. Which is fine. I'll take those. Ooh, what did we get? We got another Mythic uh, Armor piece. Mark IV Gen 1 Arcadia. Legendary. Nice. Pretty sweet. Like I said before, we're getting a lot of the armor. Another Selene's, uh, whatever it's called. Lance, I think. I think it said. Selene, Selena's Gomez. Selene's Lance La Spartan Laser. Security Oppressor, Helmet, Viper Venom, Ultra Rare Helmet, uh, Grinder once again, Tundra Scorpion, Light of Earth, Fuel Rod Cannon. So some good stuff out of that one. Oh, we got the Overshield 3 certification. Finally unlocked this thing. It's an Ultra Rare. This extra layer is displayed in green on the HUD shield indicator longer duration. Nice. So that thing will last a little bit longer. Another Halo 2 Beam Rifle as well. So, good. I'm glad we got that certification out of the way. I think that's it for the uh, the power-ups then that we unlocked. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll have to check that out. Venator, Cestus, Armor Piece. This is legendary. Another loathsome thing. Scatter Shot. Got, got a few of those loathsome things today. Another Heart Seeker, too. Sweet, you guys. Get some really good stuff out of these rec pack openings. But we're getting down to... Uh, down on the rec points here. We're down to 124,000. Ooh, we got the Halo Combat Evolve Pistol. Nice. That thing's awesome. It's a mythic, and this thing is is, is a beast. It's so powerful. It infuses. Um, let's see. You'll find you'll have to find ammo as you go. Classic magnum with increased damage and higher recoil. Infuses the user with nostalgia and increased movement speed. So this thing is really really fun to use. You can actually use it in big team battle. There's a few of them. Um, I think there's. I don't know if it's on a lot of maps, but it's. I know it's on one of the maps in big team battle, in this game that you can actually use it. So that's pretty cool that they added in there. But we unlocked the Halo 2 Beam Rifle Delta certification. Nice. So that's the legendary version of the Beam Rifle. And let's just see what this thing does. It is an advanced Halo 2 Beam Rifle that creates an unstable gravimetric vortex at point of impact. Really? That thing sounds crazy. It kind of sounds like the Void Steer Plasma Rifle and also the uh, like the grinder, like the, the thing that it, that it does when you, when you swing it. So that's pretty sweet. 
I'm not sure. We'll ha we're going to definitely have to give that a go. Hopefully we can get some kills with that thing. I'm not going to be careful, though, because I don't want to die with it when I'm using it. Hopefully I can pick somebody else's up, though, and uh, and kill him with it. That'd be awesome. I was hoping we got another Halo 2 Beam Rifle Legendary version. But we got the Crit's Left Hand, which is another Beam Rifle. It's a Legendary. Another Sarov Tish. Very nice. Let's keep on going here. Try to get some more of those weapons. Some more of those Beam Rifles. We got the Sentinel DMR, Noble Team, DM, or Pistol, Camo. Looks pretty cool with the blue on there. Another Arc Lights. Uh, Voids tier. Plasma, plasma Pistol. So some decent stuff. Decent stuff out of that one. Another Legendary. Mixing here. Center Mass, Ultra Rare, Stance, Mark 6, Regen, Helmet. End of the line. Sniper Rifle, uh, Blaze of Glory, and Twin Jewels of Mathrillion. So we're getting another of those binary rifles. This is the legendary version. And now we are down to seven, 74,000 wreck points only. We've got the Indomitable Legendary uh, Armor. I think that came from the Halo Reach update. And that's a mythic as well. So I'm glad we got that. Yeah, we still haven't unlocked the, um, the George's Machine Gun either. We still haven't unlocked that weapon. And that thing would be really fun to use. Because that thing, I think it has like damage boost and speed boost added to it. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure, pretty confident on the damage boost. Um, and that thing looks like a beast. But I have not unlocked it yet, unfortunately. Got some more of the answers. Razor's Edge, Song of Peace. Alright, so decent stuff out of that one. We can only unlock, we can only open five more rec, rec packs after this, you guys. Gold ones, anyway. Which is a bummer, because I want to keep opening these forever. Oni, Oni Rocket, Rocket Turret. Another scale of Sorept, Ultra Rare, Brute Plasma Rifle in that one, though. So that's good, that's good. Gives us another chance to actually use that a few more times. We got some more legendaries mixed in here. I think it's the Hannibal Scorpion, if I saw it right. Scout Outrider Legendary Helmet. Eva Zig Zigong. Ultra Rare. Armor Piece. Arena RP Boost. Another Grinder. Oh, another Oni Scorpion. I thought it was the, the uh, Hannibal Scorpion, but I was wrong. Let's open another one of these golds here. And uh, try to get some more cool weapons and vehicles. Recon SMG with the bayonet attached to it. Unlock that. Security Oppressive Ultra Rare Armor. Another Scare Sorapt. Brute Plasma Rifle. Nice. Gaz Warthog. Blaze of Glory. Rocket Warthog, which is also Ultra Rare. You guys, this is our uh, third last one that we can open. Mark IV Gen 1 Arcade Indomitable Armor Piece. So we finally got that one too. We have the whole set for the Indomitable. Indomitable. Sorap Teach. Brute Plasma Rifle once again. Grinder Ultra Rare. Um, that's a gravity hammer and then the crystal left hand beam rifle and then there's another scorpion in there too all right two more two more that we can open come on game give me something good we got a lot of armor in this one looks like this is stance and uh, argonaut in idmon legendary armor i guess not a lot of armor but we got one piece we got the wasp unc vehicle once again loathsome thing voids tier nice so yeah this thing has the gravimetric vortex so I think that the Halo 2 beam rifle, beam rifle is going to have that too. That's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and open our last gold pack. Come on, game. Give me something good on this last one. What did we get? We got the Dying Star certification. I'm glad we at least got some certification on the last one. So this is the legendary version of the uh, light rifle. This thing is pretty fun to use, actually. It's an advanced light rifle that fires adhesive pulse wave explosives. Explosives, as few as three nearby explosives, will prove fatal to even a shielded Spartan. So... It's a pretty fun weapon to use. I've actually used in Spartan in the Super Fiesta, and it's really powerful. So I'm glad we finally unlock, unlocked that one. Another Temple Wraith in there. Another Overshield 3 as well. So that's it for the gold. Unfortunately, I don't have enough to open a silver either, so we're just going to go with the bronze. Why not? We have some of the uh, the wreck points to do it, so we're just going to give it a go. Maybe we'll have enough to actually open a... Nope. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe we can get some wreck points to actually open a silver, but that is not the case. All right. Let's, looks like we're going to open two more of these. I highly, highly doubt we're going to get anything good. We got the Tundra Gimangu certification. Yay! That's the best thing yet. No, I'm just kidding. But we got that out of the way, I guess. All right, last one. Last wreck pack we can open. Come on, Phaeton. No way. All right. Uh, no, nothing too good. All right, so that is it for the wreck points. Unfortunately, we got some good stuff, though, you guys. We got some really good stuff. Let's check out the collection now and see where we're at. So customization, we're at 84%. 83% for the helmets. 83% for the armor. 90 for the visor, 83 emblem, stance is 88, assassination is 100%, got those complete, and weapon skins is 81%. So, we got a lot of a lot of those unlocked already, which is good. Let's go ahead and go to the 
the weapons now. So sorry if we're at actually 100%. I'm really surprised. We got 100% unlocked, which is really nice. So battle rifle 100% as well. DMR 96. We're just missing what? One or two? Missing one of them. All right. So that's legendary. But we're really close to getting that one complete. We got the Halo 2 battle rifle, of course. That's 100% because there's only one 100% for the Magnum, which is the ultra rare Magnum with the extra ammo. SMG also 100%. Nice. Arm mod 100% as well. So we actually unlocked every single one of these, including the new one that was just released in the the uh, Warzone Fire update, which is the patrol the uh, patrol case. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go and go to the power weapons. So power weapons, we're at 95% actually. Really, I'm really surprised we're at 95%. Let's just go see which one we have not unlocked yet. I'm not too sure which one it is. Ooh. Oh, the Norm thing, of course. I don't have that thing unlocked, of course. Out of all this time playing, and also George's Machine Gun. So we're missing Norm thing and George's Machine Gun, and then we'll be at 100%. I really wish we could get that Norm thing, you guys. I want that so bad. This game is not letting me have it, though. It's kind of a disappointment. Vehicles were at 88%. We got out all the Banshees, um, all the Ghosts. Missing two of the Mantis vehicles. Uh, Woodland Warthog, or Mongoose is the only one. Or, yeah, Mongoose is the only one we're missing. We, got, we get, haven't unlocked the Phaeton Helios either, which is a bummer. We only have one of the regular Phaeton, so we'd definitely like to get more of those. So we actually have 11 of the Watts now. Nice. Um, that's awesome. That's really, really awesome. Got some. Uh, got a lot of the vehicles, though. I think we're at 80, 88%. Yeah. Power-ups at 100%. So we unlocked all those, including that new Overshield we got today, which is Overshield 3. And then... What is this? The boost for the arena. We got that 100%. 88% only for the Warzone. We're missing uh, Gambit Metal Count and Gam and Warzone XP Legendary. But that is the rec pack opening for the Warzone Firefight update, you guys. We got some really, really good stuff. We unlocked pretty much... I think we unlocked... We unlocked every single weapon, new weapon that they added. So that's really awesome. The only thing we didn't unlock um, was... Which one? What, what was it? I think we unlocked them all, actually. We got the vehicles. We got all the vehicles out of the way. We got the... Yeah, we unlocked all the vehicles... And also the weapons, so I guess we're good to go on those. I was trying to think, is there one we haven't unlocked yet? But I'm pretty sure we got all of them. So we got a lot of good stuff, you guys. Definitely a lot of good stuff out of this rec pack opening, spending over 600,000 rec points. So I hope you guys did enjoy that video. I really can't complain. I'm really excited to try to use that wasp right away and some of those new weapons, especially the Halo 2 beam rifle. That'll be a lot of fun. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. If you're new, subscribe. That'd be better. And I'll see you guys next video. See ya.